Hi everybody, this is Steve Grisetti, co-founder of MoviePix.com and author of the MoviePix.com guide to Photoshop Elements. And here we are in Adobe Photoshop Elements, looking at some of the tools people often aren't aware of. They're actually pretty cool tools here in the program. The Photo Merge tools are found under the Guided tab here at the top of the interface. And Photo Merge tools include some really cool tools for grabbing elements from more than one picture and composing them into one very nice photo. Let's go back here to expert view. I've got two photos that are very, very similar taken on the same front porch. Here the woman is talking and the man is looking away. In the second photo, the man is looking toward the woman and the woman has her arms out as she's telling a story. I want to take the best elements from these two pictures and compose one really good picture out of them. If I go down here to layout at the bottom of the screen, I can choose all column. I can see both pictures at once. Let me just zoom back by pressing control minus or command minus. These are the two photos. I want to take the man who's looking toward the woman or looking toward his right in the second picture. And I want to drag him into this first picture and replace the man who seems to be looking away from the woman as she's telling her story. So we're going to combine the best elements of these two pictures. Again, we go to the guided edits and we go to the photo merge category of guided edits and we're going to choose photo merge group shot. And you can see from the little thumbnail that it's designed to take the best elements. Suppose you had a photo of a group of people and everybody's smiling except one. And in the next picture, you have a picture of that person smiling, but everybody else looks bad. You can take the smiling person from one photo, paste them into the other very, very seamlessly. And what's best is that this photo merge tool does all the heavy lifting for you. So let's select photo merge group shot. We'll select the picture here for our source is actually the second picture. So I'm going to click on it here in the photo bin. There's the picture. It's going to be our source. I'm going to take the man from this picture and I'm going to paste him into the second picture. So I'm going to take the second picture or the first picture here in the photo bin and drag it here into our final shot. So in this picture, the man is looking straight ahead. In this picture, he's looking a little more toward the woman. As with any guided edit, if you look at the column on the right, it's got all the tools you'll need to create the effect. And in this case, all we need is a pencil. We'll select the pencil and we can change the size of it either by using the slider or by using the bracket keys on our keyboard, put our pencil, hover it over the source object. And again, I can make that pencil bigger or smaller by using those bracket keys, bracket open, bracket closed. But I don't need to color in the entire man. All I need to do is just take my pencil and kind of indicate to the program what I want moved. And that's it. Take a look at the photo on the right. This man has been pasted from the photo on the left to the photo on the right, and it's virtually seamless. Don't worry about the edge here. We can probably trim that off or crop that off. But if we go to the column here on the right and click on show regions, we can actually see what was pasted from the first picture. Actually took the window, the man, and a little bit of uh, the wall here and pasted it into the second picture. The program is that intuitive that it could see that these elements were similar enough that it could paste them seamlessly from one shot to the next. Uncheck that. And the result is a very nice composition. And like I say, Photo Merge does all the heavy lifting. There are lots of great tools like this, many of them in guided edits, many of them underneath the various drop down menus and many of them in the toolbar along the left side of the program. You want to know all about these great tools? Be sure and check out the tips and tutorials we have at moviepix.com. You want to know everything there is to know about photo merging and about all the high level tools that are available in Photoshop Elements. Be sure and check out the moviepix.com guide to Adobe Photoshop Elements. It's available at amazon.com. I'm Steve. I wrote the book and I hope to see you again real soon. Take care.